Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Science Snake, where we analyze science concepts and learn quick ways to solve science problems. Today we're looking at mole conversions, so let's go ahead and do the first problem together. Before we get started, make sure to write down these mole equalities. We will be using them throughout the video. Number 1. How many moles of magnesium are in 3.01 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of magnesium? There are three steps to solving this problem. The first one is, identifying the variables. We need to identify the variables first before we can solve the equation. So let's go back to the problem. In order to identify the variables, we want to start off by what's given. What's given is 3.01 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of magnesium. What we are solving for is the number of moles of magnesium. As previously mentioned at the beginning of the video, make sure you wrote down the mole equalities that we will be applying to solve these problems. What we are solving for is moles of magnesium. So the big question here is, how do we convert atoms into moles? What do we do after identifying all the variables? Step two is setting up molar ratios. What we want to start with is what is given. What's given is 3.01 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of magnesium divided by one. We don't use one in the real world, but for the purpose of this video, I will place a one underneath times one mole of magnesium divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is Avogadro's number. It can be used to solve for molecules, particles, and atoms. Before moving on to step three, don't forget to cross cancel same units. This is a quick way to check if you have the correct units you're looking for in the end. Step three, chug. Grab your calculator and punch in 3.01 divided by 6.02 and that gives you 0.5. If you don't have a scientific calculator, do not include the exponents until the end so you won't get confused. To divide exponents with the same base, you can subtract them. So we have 10 to the 22nd power in our numerator and 10 to the 23rd in our denominator, giving us 22 minus 23 equals negative one. The negative tells us to move the decimal to the left. We have a power of negative one, which means we're going to move the decimal to the left one time. So therefore, our final answer is 0 0.05 moles of magnesium. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and pause this video and solve for number two. Make sure to use the mole equalities at the beginning of this video along with the three steps. Identify the variables, set up molar ratios, and lastly, chug. Welcome back. The answer is 2.41 times 10 to the 24th molecules of C6H12O6. Don't forget to always write down your units. If you didn't get this problem correct, that's okay. It just means you need more practice. So let's do number three. How many moles in 28 grams of carbon dioxide? Take a look at the question. The question is asking for moles. They're asking how many moles in 28 grams of carbon dioxide. Our first step is identifying the variables. If we don't have all the variables, we cannot solve the problem. So what you wanna do is start off with what's given, 28 grams of carbon dioxide. Next, what we are solving for, which are moles of carbon dioxide. Now that we identified the variables, wrote down what's given, and what we are solving for, we can move on to step two, which is setting up molar ratios. In order to do this, we will be using the mole equalities. So to set up our molar ratios, we wanna write down what's given. What's given is 28 grams of carbon dioxide divided by one times one mole of carbon dioxide divided by 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. How did I get the molar mass? I used a periodic table. We have one carbon equal to 12.01 grams followed by oxygen. We have two of them, so we're gonna do two times 16 grams equals 32 grams. Our total mass is 44.01 grams. Step three, we're going to chug. Our answer is 0 0.64 moles of carbon dioxide. 
That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.